Hey everyone, Alyssa Burke here, and I'm really excited to share with you a project with my brother Cut and Scan. Um, I am a painter, first and foremost, and a lot of my work is inspired by graffiti, which means I do lots of layering, lots of messy stuff, spray paint, splattering, and I love to make use of stencils, especially really graphic stencils. Now, I'm somebody who doesn't buy my stencils. I kind of enjoy creating my own instead of purchasing somebody else's designs, um, but I'm always looking for simple and graphic, um, something that will really pop on my canvas. So I wanted to show you guys really quick how I'm creating um, a painting, but what I'm using stencils as my focal point of the painting. So I wanted just some numbers and letters to add to some of my messy backgrounds, just to kind of create more of an urban feel um, for my painting. So I've already cut one out, but I'm actually using the numbers and letters that are already um, programmed, pre-programmed into the Brother Cut and Scan. So I'm gonna do, I've got a number three, it's my lucky number, and I'm gonna add that to my painting. You guys will get to see the process. Um, but I'm also gonna add uh, the letter A, and I picked a font that I like. Again, these fonts are pre-programmed in um, you can upload your own fonts or letters or that type of thing but I'm choosing to use what's already in my machine um, and I want to use letter A my name's Alyssa so I'm gonna use letter A and I'm going to just create a quick stencil I'm just using some cardstock you could use um, to me when I create stencils I use anything that's just a thick paper a lot of times I'll recycle envelopes or cardstock just because I know it's gonna get painted over it needs to be stiff enough that I can get through some spray paint or paint over the top of it so I've already loaded my paper um, it's on top of the mat that gets um, put through the machine and I'm going to press OK press cut and I'm gonna start the cutting Okay guys, so you can see that I've got just a messy canvas going on here. I've pretty much slopped paint on in different layers. Um, layered some color, layered some different elements in the background. I've added a doily here. I'm gonna now go into it with my stencils. And my stencils are gonna be what I like to call a focal point. Um, a focal point in a painting can be anything from an image to a color to free writing. And my stencils, my real graphic numbers and letters are gonna serve as the focal point in my painting. So I get kind of more of an urban graffiti feel to this canvas. So I'm gonna take um, my number three stencil and I think this doily makes a great space for some pops. So um, because there's not a whole lot going on over here in this area, um, adding a stencil to the top of it is gonna really make that stencil pop and there'll be a lot of contrast. So I am pretty relaxed about how I stencil things on. Um, I typically would use spray paint, especially if I'm working outside, but since I'm not, I'm gonna use um, non-aerosol spray paint. So there's just, um, you pump it up and then you've got a little spray paint feature to this. And I just want a nice light imprint or light image of my stencil. And because it's wet, a little bit of it's gonna drip and I'm fine with that. I'm just going to let what happens happen, but I'm going to play around a little bit more with the other stencils that I have. And again, these are going to be my focal point. I'm going for that look that feels a lot like graffiti. Um, I'm going to add a few more things and then call it good. And I like this simple color, simple messy color to hang on my wall. watched me kind of work through adding um, the stencils with a little bit of paint but what I've also done is actually use the stencil as a focal point so instead of just using this big A to paint with I've actually attached the A to the surface and I'm actually using Mod Podge um, but you could use um, gel medium glue anything that's gonna stick to your canvas is gonna work just fine 
Um, I've done the same thing with the B, the cutout of the B, and then kind of a cutout of a three up here. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do, which is gonna take me a while, is let this dry, and then I'm gonna go back into it and kind of start drawing and doodling in some of these areas. These make great spots for me to go back in and add another layer. But as far as the stencils go, I cannot tell you, um, from a stencil standpoint, I used to cut my own stencils with an X-Acto knife, and it's hard, it takes a lot of time. Um, but the scan and cut, just made that process go by so quickly. I can just turn out these stencils and add them to the surface of my messy canvases and do all kinds of fun stuff, um, getting creative with that urban graffiti feel for artwork. So I um, hope you guys enjoy just a little peek into my process.